What's going on guys, Envy Astro here, back at it with another video. Here with the one and only Mr. Said Hendo. And today we actually have a few videos we gotta film, but first off, we're gonna start off by giving you guys a battery review. We had never done this before, yes, but these were actually time. sent us, these were actually sent to us by Elio Drones. He's a team pilot for Ace He. He told us to test these batteries out and give you guys our thoughts on them. And that's what we're gonna do. And but we're gonna run them like we normally do. Bro. Exactly. We usually run them down to like maybe what? Like 13 six. If not, it sky. just falls out of the sky. Yeah, so <laughs> he said, can we do that? He said, sure, go ahead and just test them out. Give uh, the people what they want. So we're gonna be doing that. But first off, I'd like to show you guys what the sales come balance out of the package. So let's go ahead and show you guys that. All right, so here they are. Keep in mind, they're not being pumped any charge. Go ahead and show them the uh, first one. Go back to the first one. All right, that's number one. So they're all at 385, 381. 382 and 385 so they all come to um, stores charged I'll put some uh, info on the screen for you guys such as weight the price on the 1500s and 1800s so with that let's go ahead and let them charge and then we'll get our first run on these packs so let's do it so just another quick thing for those people that are curious I usually charge my batteries at 3 amps each so that is exactly the same thing we're doing for these. Charging them at three amps. So, yes. All right. All right, so here we got the 1500 first up. And I will be coming down at 14 volts. That way we kind of get like 10 cycles on them first. Well, let's uh, talk about these a little bit while you're flying. All right. Are these graphene at all? Uh, no, they are not graphene batteries. They're these normal, just, regular light bulbs. Yeah, normal, normal 75C. So far, so good, but I mean, I usually get this with a, a fresh pack, you know, they yeah. seem real punchy and stuff. Fresh. Oh, nice discharge, so not bad. And uh, I think the price is like what? On the 1500 is like 26 bucks, uh -huh. like 27 bucks. Okay. On the 1800 is 30 bucks, so pricing is actually very good. Well, I mean, everything's all good right now. We're, you know, you're flying around. It's, it looks zippy. It looks, yeah, looks I'm, sharp. I'm pushing it. Pushing yeah, a little pushing bit. It. A couple of power loops and everything. Going, so that's kind of good. One okay. thing I just noticed with it, okay. it doesn't sag too much. Ah, it's fresh. It's brand new. No, no, no. Well, my voltage. I'm looking at my voltage yeah. and kind of going. Well, but I yes, you're too. right. You are it. right. Yeah. Usually with fresh packs. You don't get too much. How long have I been flying for? You have been flying for a minute and 24 seconds. Not bad. 1500, by the way. That's the 15, the smaller one. The smaller in size. They're actually very small, yeah. Yeah. Smaller than our graphene 1500, that's for sure. You hadn't really done a real long throttle pull on it like we do with our. Uh, I'll probably do it with the 18. Our, 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 All right, I'm at like 10 volts. Flyers. Yeah, 10 volts. Wow, see, it literally just kind of dropped like uh, close to like, like a, a graphene. graphene. <clears throat> kind of like a graphene. It was like at like 13, 9, 14, and then it just dropped to like 10. No crap. Wow. So let's go ahead and check it. Let's, let's check it. First thing we want to check. check. Look at it. Is it puffed? Did it puff? It's hot as hell. It's hot, but it didn't puff. <laughs> All right, so it didn't puff. So right, far, so good. Check voltage. Let's go ahead and check the voltage, and I'll show you guys the voltage. Go closer to the camera. Hang the camera on. Let's let's go ahead and read it, and then I'll show. Okay. So, so we are at zero eleven five. First cell is at three zero two nine three two, five, three two, and then two two. So they're not all around the same. See, no, we it, have, it discharged differently. It discharged cell, differently. So 2.9, okay. 3.2, 2.2, 3.0. Okay. So they're all kind of all over the, everywhere. So, but yeah. no, no puff. They're hot though. They're really hot. Really now, hot. remember this. The way we charge and discharge our packs, this is it. We just yeah. did it. Now, it's we're going to charge good. it like we normally do. And not going to let up on it or any of that crap. Um, I will, this is a normal lipo, I would suggest we let it cool. Cool. Uh, if it was a graphene like ours are, that we normally fly with, we typically go ahead and put them right back on, get that chemistry right back. We're gonna let these cool, we wanna be safe. All right, so he's gonna try the 1800 on. 
some F40 V3s. Brand new, baby. Right out of the box. With some 5046 props, and we'll see how he feels about them. So let's do it. All right, you go ahead and go, man. Give me some nice throttle pump where you stay on that thing. Was that all throttle all the way? Yeah. Dude, they're definitely pretty impressive for a regular LiPo. I haven't flown regular LiPos for a while, so I really don't know what to expect from them. So far, what do you think? Like, you know what? The pop, right? Like from a fresh pat. Yeah, man, this is pretty dang good. I'm, uh, I'm for a regular LiPo is actually for very good. For a regular. Regular freaking lipo, this thing thing is it's, it's getting it. But you know, again, it is uh, brand new. I don't want to give it too. I don't want to give it too much credit just yet. Yeah, longevity means a lot to me uh, from my packs. So far, the the uh, Fly Club packs, since that's the only packs I fly. I've been flying them what since January, I believe. So January, so about seven months, and I had I have like about. I started off with 10, I think I have like a 7, so 3 of them did go out on me. But 7 months is more than enough the way we run, I run my packs at least. He's running the 1800 by the way. Was that the throttle or was that a little bit of sag? That was me, just oh, okay. up and down on the throttle. Give it a nice punch out, like for at least 10 seconds. See how, how it treats you. After you've already been running it pretty hard. Punch out, just straight up. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you're losing video, come yeah, down. Yeah, I'm coming down. <laughs> How was it? Did it sag or anything? No, no, it stays no? pretty solid the whole time. This one should technically give you a little bit more output discharge since it's a higher capacity battery. Are you coming down whenever it just dies or? Yeah. Tell you. I want to see if there's more flight time in it, right? Hey, there, yeah. Because actually, I was very surprised because I spoke to some of my friends and they asked me, they were like, what, what do you bring your uh, batteries down at? I was like, 13.6 or usually whenever it just dies because usually I'm racing and I'm trying to get everything out of the pack. And they were surprised. They were like, oh, really? I'll come down to like 14.6, 14.9. Right, right. That's it? Time. It's sagging. Yeah. Oh. There we go. That's it. All right. Let me see. This was not as hot as the other one though. I know, I know. It's not as hot as the other one. All right, so not puffed. You probably, so you brought it down until it just died? Yeah, it was, uh, matter of fact, as I came down, it was, so we it was completely see. dying. Now, the reason why we check to see if it's puffed, because we've actually had packs on the second run on those packs puff on us badly. So we're not gonna call any names, but they look kind of like, kind of like that, what that thing is called on my arm right there. So yeah. All right, so we are at zero volts. He literally drained it. 11.26, 2.7, 2.8, 2.8, and 2.7. So this one is actually very close to. So it did pretty well. Yeah, did pretty good. Did pretty good. So taking consideration, I, I flew that on 2750 yeah, KV motors. Those are freaking brand new hundred. F40s with the brand new 3046s. And we have uh, a video on those coming out. It's pretty awesome. And which was really fun, as a matter of fact. Uh, we actually already shot the video. This is great. So. Yeah, we already shot the video. You'll you'll see it. Don't worry about it. But anyway, yeah, battery is good, man. Battery so far good. so good. But hey, that's the first uh, cycle. And keep in mind, uh, we are going to keep up with the cycles, and then maybe like once we're like 25 cycles in, or 20 20 or 25 cycles in, we're gonna come back with the uh, recap right, video and kind of tell you guys what. what what they're like. Have they degraded power or whatever? You know. So just for comparison purposes. This is their 18. This is graphene 15. I always put mine in a heat shrink, but just so you can kind of see size-wise. 1500, 1800, so. Very, very close, and this is really hot on my thumb right now. <laughs> um, really, really close. Length is comparable also. I can't even see it, that. man, come on. Sorry, length is comparable. Um, now, let's look at their 15. This 15? is their 15. Compared this to is a 15, 15, compared to our 15. But then again, the top bottom one is graphene, uh -huh. and the top one is a lipo. But hey, yeah. if that thing performs like a 15, if graphene, it does, so far it did. To keep in mind, 
we fly these regularly yeah. and we dog the hell out of them regularly okay so what that means to you is uh, as a person that's looking at these packs and just trying to decide oh which one should I get we fly these and we fly them consistently because we trust them we yeah. know that they're gonna last for us we know that they give us the power that we need I don't know if number wise they stick up at the very top I know they're not at the very bottom but longevity is important I mean think about this for a second when we race we race on brand new packs just I mean that's just what we yeah. do uh, it's just smart uh, I wouldn't want to take a pack that has you know 100 cycles out to a race and, and decide oh I'm gonna race today on that now not gonna happen brand new packs so that means that the packs that we fly on for our regular every day to day flying it needs to be something that we can put some cycles on and that not gonna crap out on us right and if they do crap out crap out all the way not this slowly draining sag forever and they oh they'll charge up but these exactly. damn things don't yeah, give you I any power that, that so we don't like that these packs here have been great for us these flight club packs are awesome so keep that in mind we're testing these as a favor and yes. also as a to keep our, our, our minds and our ears open, keep our ear to the ground, you know, be honest with you, you know, who says that these are end all be all? Yeah. No one says that. Exactly. All we're saying is they work for us. Yeah. Always willing to check out more packs, always willing to test. I give them a honest and fair review in my real world scenarios that I like to fly and race in. Obviously, when you see the video, you'll notice I'm, it's not like I'm, you know, yeah. nana and around. I'm well, pulling well, throttle all the I time, mean, so. Like I said, if these, end up being bad after maybe like 20 25 cycles we'll we'll get a recap video and let you guys know but we have two more packs to burn we're gonna burn these two packs up and then we're gonna charge them back up together and then we're gonna come back to you guys and see how much milliamp is actually put back into the battery yep. and then from there we'll decide keep and in if, mind we're taking them all the way down yes zero you all guys saw it zero percent to me brand new pack it should go all the way back up yeah to the 18 or at least close to 18. It, it you know? should be at 18 or better. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna burn these batteries and then come back to you guys. So, let's do it.